Hey everyone, I just want to show you how I did a little bit of hacking into Blackboard and changed some things here to make my site look a little bit different. So here is an example of that site um, where I added a sub uh, sub menu. If I go to subheader here and add these subheadings here, and then I'm able to style the um, style rules to have a really nice solid background for each of these sections. You know, give a little bit of nice feel to it. I also did this to these sections as well, as you can see. Uh, so I highlighted the entire row, and then these are uh, um, on the home page only. Okay, if I go to the internal pages, then you see that I didn't want to apply here. You could if you want to, but I didn't do it because I, I don't want to overdo it. I just don't want to do the home page. So, um, you know, if if I go and turn off the uh, edit mode to off, it looks a bit nicer, nice and clean, kind of similar to what a student would see. Um, and so uh, the thing is that this is a um, the home the landing page. These menus here are you know have a global space or a global scope. And so as you can see, if I go to the internal uh, section, this has its own internal scope as well. And and so when you apply the CSS to this Blackboard, after you apply either to the global area or to each uh, sub sections. Okay, a little bit weird, but that's how it's built, I guess. Uh, so I just want to apply it here and then here separately. And if you want to apply globally across the entire uh, you know, course, then you will attach it to the menu here. So it will apply it across the board. And that may or may not be what you want it, but I'll give you an example how to, how that works. So here's how I will do it. Okay, it takes a couple of steps. The first thing is um I needed to target, you know, what these are, and I found these out by using, you know, the developer tool. And so my style sheet I use for Angular, I will use is uh, this style E here. Um, I just call it A B C D E. So this is gonna be used for just this main landing page here. Okay, highlight these uh, headings here, and I found out that these actually are targeted by uh, the div. It's a div item class, and then there's a div item A anchor link to the span tag. The span tag applies to this particular link right here. Just that tag. The div item is the entire uh, row. Okay, so that's why it gives you this, you know, uh, entire row background here. If you just want to target the important, because I want to override the background um, to be consistent. So I mean, play with it if you want, whatever you want. I also added a, you know, a little bit of round radius here to my border, make it kind of, kind of neat. <laughs> so anyway, so here's the first step. Um, first, you have to upload those CSS to your course shell. Uh, you can do those in a couple of ways, right? You can go here, uh, in here, and edit, and you can attach, you know, the file here. Once you do that, you can delete it again, and then they should be uploaded to your course shell. Another way to do is, is if I go to the um, content collection, this is the course ID. This is my stuff. That's my ID. You also have the same stuff, right? Go to this course only, and then here I can create, uh, I'm going to create a folder here. Um, I'll call it CSS. Just for me to use it, and then I navigate to that CSS folder, and I can upload file here. So upload, and I'm gonna choose my uh, my my E, the E menu for the um, menu, and the global. I'm gonna show you what that is. The global they have the same thing. Global is is like both of these combined together, and I'll show you what that means. So I upload that. Okay, so they're here. And you can leave this open as is, or I could just basically duplicate this. So I have a copy here, and then you know, a copy here. I can access these directly. Now I go to the home page over here. Okay, so I need to do this. I go to um, any one of these here is fine. Let's say that um, I'm gonna go to the uh, CSS. Go ahead and go in here, and I'm gonna apply the link directly to this tag. So go to the code mode. And uh, just apply a link tag. Uh, it doesn't let you do style. If it did, I would have done that. It problem solved, but they don't let you do it. But they do let me do the link, and the link will go to, you know, whatever that link gives me. So I go over here and find the link that I want. So this is the one I want for the home page, and I just click this little arrow here. Go to the edit settings, and this is the link that I want. The prominent URL here. So grab that, and copy that, and then put it right in here. Okay, I do the same thing. I make another one. I'll show you why. And the next one is going to be for that um, the menu on the left. So this is the one I use. 
uh, go here again, copy this URL and uh, paste it right in here. And then, okay, they look a little bit, you know, similar, different ID here and just save it and then just save it again. What I did was that once you saved it, as you can see, it applies right away. It applies already to uh, a mouse style here, right? And that's what I want. Okay, it also applies over here as well um, to the menu here. But again, once I go to, let's say, into the internal folder, uh, let me go one little bit deeper here. Go, go to unit one. You see that it doesn't apply to the menu anymore, right? Because this had, those are just local scope. It doesn't apply here either because they only work in the home page. Okay, so that's what I did. So now I go in here and then grab the uh, links that was generated for me. You see that it's different from what I had before, okay? The, the previous link looks something like that, right? It, it kind of parse it, it attaches ID to a particular course, whatever it is. I'm not sure what this one are yet. But um, so this is the one I want to use. And you need to use this to make it work across the site. Otherwise, it give you a little bit um, a quirky uh, result. So this one stays here. This is the main menu. I mean, the, the home page. And this link needs to go out to the menu. So I'm going to cut that out. And I'll leave this here and I'll show you also, uh, you may or may not want to leave it here. I, I'll just do it because I'll show an example why. Then I go to the menu over here. You have to apply the CSS at the menu uh, layer level. And um, the easiest way for me to do is add it to one of these tags, the a link that would link out to external page, like uh, the tech support here, right? It goes to the GTC website. So I will just edit this menu. I know it looks weird, but add it here and then attach it to the end of this title here. Okay, the entire link. And then just add it here. So it's now global to this page. So now if I go and uh, uh, go into the sub menus, like again, go down here, right? You see that it stays in fact over here. These are no longer affected. And I did not want to add it to, to this menu here. Okay, so that's what I did. And if you go to the um, edit mode off, you will see that now it's not working anymore on this main menu. And the reason why is because the, uh, you know, the, the uh, item that I was, that I used to place the ex the external sheet was not visible anymore. So it's not working. Okay. So which is why you kind of have to pick and choose where you want to put the CSS and you want to put in a, a section that it's always visible all the time, like this announcement link, or if you have a, a, um, the content that's always visible, you put it there. So I'm going to, you know, go in here and I don't need to put this all the time. So I'm going to grab this CSS and, um, you know, take it out. I don't need it here. And I'll change the color to white. So I will add it to the announcement link. Yeah, this is always visible. So um, I'll go to here and then again, just attach it to the code like that. And so now it's it's okay, right? It's working uh, beautifully. The home page, our me menu are now globally uh, accept, um, applied. And if I turn on the edit mode, I usually use this, turn this off, so my code, the site looks clean when you lecture. If you want to use Blackboard to show, right? So it does have all these like little icon all over the place here. And uh, so there you go. Um, if we go again to the sub menus, as you can see, it doesn't apply here. Right, it, the menu works here, that's fine. Now, if you want to use the global one, uh, like uh, this one over here, this is the global here. This one here has both the, you know, landing page stuff, all these items here, and then the menu as well. So this is the global one. So again, I'm, I'm gonna go and show you how, how that will look like. So if I change this, go to edit settings, and I wonder if I just grab this ID here, it might work. Um, if I just grab this part here, we'll see. Grab that and then go to the uh, setting. Well, let me turn this edit back on. Go to the tech support and rename the link and you know replace this last part here. It's kind of hard to see. This ID right here. Replace this with that new ID and see what happens. So it tends to, seems to be working here. Home page works fine. If I go into the internal links, okay. 
yeah, as you can see, it applies everywhere else, right? Because I put that in the global space. So every every item you add here will be affected, which I don't want because that's too many. It's overdoing, I'm overdoing it. And I can keep going down here and it will also apply to every one of these um, areas down here as well. If you like that, then, you know, that's the way to go. Um, I didn't want to use this, so um, it could be nice. If you just want to highlight this part here again, add that to your style sheet. So that's this. This is how I apply the global um, to the global space. If you just want a home page, then just add it here to one of these uh, link here. Okay. Oh, well, I hope this is helpful. And uh, I know I wish there's another way to do this manually, but um, just figure that you know, tweak it a little bit, <laughs> make it a little bit nice for me as well for students. Okay. Alrighty. Have any questions? Let me know. Bye now.